Hi guys, it's Friday. Um, I'm in a different spot for my video today because I'm going to try and give you guys a full body shot after I give you my weight update. Um, so I got on the WeFit this morning. Let's see if I can situate so you can see me a little better. Okay, I'm just going to have to stand up awkwardly here. Okay, so I got on the WeFit this morning and, <clears throat> excuse me, I weighed in and had lost 2.2 pounds for the last week, uh, which I'm totally pleased with. It seems like over the last maybe month or two, I had gotten into the pattern of losing, you know, like a pound, uh, barely a pound or just over a pound a week for maybe a couple months. And, you know, while it was slightly disappointing, I was happy I was still losing, so I wouldn't really call it a plateau, but... Um, I feel like with last week, or the week before this past week's loss of 4.6 pounds, I maybe something clicked back into place, like I sort of busted through some type of little stall or something, and my weight loss has sped back up a little bit. So 2.2 pounds is good because that's really, you know, twice what I was weighing, losing for quite a while, and, you know, that's coming in after a 4.6 pound loss the week before, so... Um, the 2.2 this week added to my total brings my grand total weight loss to 113.3 pounds. So that's awesome. Um, new things to report this week. I'm still working on taking in more water and that's going pretty well. Um, really it's just a matter of getting in the habit of drinking the water and finding things that I like to drink. I drink a lot of coffee. I drink a coffee every morning for breakfast. Um, I usually don't really have any food until almost lunchtime or I'll have a little snack around 10 or 11 to get me through until noon when I'm, you know, feeding the kids that I'm watching. So, um, that's kind of my bad little habit is the coffee in the morning. It's not decaf. I know we're supposed to have decaf, but I need the caffeine to get me going. So, um, I'm going to give you guys a full body shot here. I'm going to back up and hopefully this works. I'm kind of wearing a plain outfit today so you can sort of see my shape. Anyway, okay, so here I go. <clears throat> all right. So I don't know. I can't see the camera very well, so I don't know if you can see me all that well, but, um, the pants I'm wearing, these are size 14 jeans, and I'm still kind of in between like a 12 and a 14. I usually wear 14s around the house because they're a little bit looser and more comfortable. And like when I'm going out, I'll put on a size 12 because I like to wear my jeans a little bit tighter because they kind of like suck in things a little bit better. Um, which brings me to the whole loose skin thing. I do have loose skin and it's kind of gross. Um, I think my biggest problem is going to be my chest area because, um, yeah, they're kind of like empty, dried up raisin sacks is what I like to compare them to. So, um, if there's plastic surgery in my future at all, it would probably be for that area. Now my stomach is also a little bit looser, but I'm kind of hoping that that's going to shrink up over time. Um, I have noticed that when my weight loss slows down, um, my stomach, the skin starts to actually shrink up a little bit. So it's funny. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm always so surprised when I lose a bigger number like I did um, the week before this last week because my skin starts to hang again. So I start to feel like I look worse, but it's actually because I've lost weight. So I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys, but... Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else to say at this point. I guess I'm just really happy with my weight loss. I'm really happy with the way things are going. Um, it's the holiday season. I made it through Thanksgiving, having lost weight. I'm hoping to make it through Christmas um, with all the family. I've been doing tons of baking, making lots of cookies, fudge, pies, um, all kinds of goodies for people. And it's funny, you guys, because... In years past, I'd have all this anxiety about like the Christmas treats and the Christmas, you know, cookies and stuff being around the house because I knew I was going to eat them and I couldn't stop. Like if I had one cookie, I had to have five cookies and I knew that that was my weakness. And so I just wouldn't bake the cookies because I wouldn't want them in the house. And it was really sad because my whole family would suffer because they wouldn't get to have the treats and you know, they're not on a diet. So, um, 
the greatest thing that the surgery I think has given me is like this calmness and this peace and knowing that um, I don't have to have those things anymore. I can bake them. I can enjoy baking and making the treats for my family. Um, but I somehow have this resolve and willpower not to eat them anymore. Um, I don't know where that came from. Everybody will tell you before you get the surgery that it's not automatic willpower, which it's not. But for me, it's given me something. It's like, I just feel calm, more calm around the food and I don't have to like cram it in my mouth anymore. Um, and the other thing is if I want a cookie, I can have a cookie and know that it's not gonna spiral out of control and turn into like five or seven cookies. Um, which is great. So I don't feel like I'm ever really deprived because if I really want one, I have one, but I keep it at one. So anyway, um, there's my update for the week, you guys, and I hope everyone is doing well and staying on track. I know it's a hard time of year for that kind of thing. So um, all right, so this is going to be a short one. I've got a whole bunch of errands to run today and Christmas shopping to do and all that stuff. So I hope you guys have a great Friday and you make healthy choices. All right, see you guys later. Bye.